I recently ordered four 40 foot high cube box cars, and these are all tangent box cars. Now, these two I ordered directly from tangent, and these two I ordered from the home shops. Now, the tangent cars are reproductions of cars that existed in the real world. The home shop cars are made for some better known freelance railroads, Springfield, Omaha, and Denver, in this case. Now, an issue I have with these home shop cars is I didn't actually order two Springfield, Omaha, and Denver cars. One of the cars I ordered was a different road name, but they sent me two of these. So that was a bit disappointing. So I'm going to take one of these cars out of the box. We'll take a look at it. And I'm going to compare the car to this KD 40 foot box car. I'll get this Denver Rio Grande and Western car out of the box. Now this car has never been out of the box. here. I am not a 40 foot high cube boxcar expert. So, looking at this car together, I'm just going to give you my impressions of the car. Because, in the end, that's what's most important to me. Now, looking at the car, let's look at the writing, see if we can focus in on that. These placards here, I don't think those are legible. Now, one thing I want to say right now, and this is just initial impression, I'm not sure the graphics on this car are quite as good as the Repito car I looked at a little while back. And looking at the bottom of the car. Uh, the bottom of the car looks okay. Um, nothing real special. Nothing outstanding. It does have some good detail. The ladders are real nice. Stirrup steps are really nice. And coupling lever is real nice. It's very fine. Has a photo etched metal crossover platform. Brake wheel looks nice. 
It's got a separately applied tack board. We'll take a quick look at the KD box car. Now, this is an earlier era. It still has the roof walk, so that doesn't matter. That's we don't care about that. KD has an opening door. I don't care about that. KD has really nice stirrup step grabs. A coupling lever. Of course, KD couplers. This end has a really nicely done ladder and brake hardware. Platforms crooked. I don't know if it's supposed to be. Maybe it's supposed to be crooked. So I've looked at two cars and they both have crooked platforms. The ladders are pretty impressive. They're very, very fine and delicate. Now one interesting thing about this is the trucks have actual springs. And another thing I didn't really notice about this car is some of the stenciling was painted out and redone. You see the graphics are really nice. So is the paint job. All right. Oh, let's look at the bottom. And the detail on the bottom, I would say, is actually better on the KD car. The most distinguishing characteristic of the high cube is its additional height. Now, I believe this car was built in order to handle home appliances, where the extra height would allow them to stack them too high, whereas a standard box car, they couldn't do that. Here, have another view of the differences between the KD 40 foot box car and the tangent high cube, you know, the flat roof. The KD still has the roof walk, and these are built in different eras where the KD car was built in 1950 and the tangent car was built in 1967. That looks like the high cube has shock control here. 
Here's some stenciling I missed, my first sweep. This looks pretty nice. So these tangent cars do have some nice fine detail. Reading the back of the tangent box, these cars have the correct trombone style uncoupling levers. They have KD scale couplers. This car is about six and five eighths inches long. So this car should weigh about 4.3 ounces. And the weight of the car is 4.3 ounces. Coupler height on the brake end is a little bit low. Coupler height on this end is right on the money. And the wheels are perfectly engaged. I'm not wowed by this car like I was with the Rapido car that I looked at a little while back. And I think the KD car measures up quite nicely against this Tangent car. But with that being said, you know, I wanted some 40-foot high cubes for my layout, and these are pretty nice cars. They're not cheap at $50 a piece or more, but they look to be pretty good quality cars, and so I look forward to getting them out on the layout. So I hope this look at these tangent 40-foot high cubes was useful to you. I thank you for watching.